From this presentation onwards, we will start with a new chapter called strings. And in this presentation, we will consider some basics of string literals. So let's get started. Here is a definition of a string literal. String literal or string constant is a sequence of characters enclosed within double quotes. For example, I can write something like this that is hello everyone. And this is a string literal because it is enclosed within double quotes. Also, it is a sequence of characters, right? In Spanish, I can say hello everyone as Hola to dos. This is also a string literal. Apart from this, in German, I can say hello everyone as hello zusammen. And in Italian, it is ciao tutti. These are all string literals because they are sequence of characters enclosed within double quotes, right? Apart from this, percentile s is a placeholder which is used in place of a string literal. That is within printf function, I can use percentile s as a placeholder for this particular string literal. Apart from this, there is one important point I would like to mention. String literal is always enclosed within double quotes. It is not the case that you can enclose a string literal within single quotes. Single quotes are used to enclose a particular character at a time, while double quotes are used to enclose a string literal. So this one is correct, but this one is not. Also, I cannot write something like this in C program. Suppose I have a string literal, which is a big sentence, that is, you have to dream before your dreams can come true. What I want in my program is to mention this sentence in the next line instead of mentioning this in the same line. But this is not allowed in C programming. This particular printf function will produce an error message. You can add a backslash at the end of this sentence and this will allow you to mention this sentence in the next line. Because of this backslash, there is no error produced by this particular printf function and hence it is totally legal in C programming. Let me tell you that this method is called splicing in C language. But I have to mention that there is one disadvantage of this backslash. And let me mention this disadvantage through a live running program. I have already discussed about this backslash method. With this backslash, I would be able to mention this sentence in the next line. This is all right, but there is another method which will allow you to mention this sentence in the next line. In this method, each and every sentence should be mentioned within double quotes. This first sentence should be mentioned within one set of double quotes and this next sentence should be mentioned within another set of double quotes. This will also allow you to enter the sentence in the next line. And of course, it will improve readability. As I already told you that there is a disadvantage of using this method. Let me show you by running this program. We can see here that in the first sentence, there are additional spaces added which I don't want to add, right? Why these spaces are added in the first sentence while in the next sentence there is no such problem? We can see here that because of this backslash, these spaces are also included. It considers these spaces as part of the sentence. This is basically an indentation a one tap which is equivalent to four spaces but these spaces are also included because of this backslash but as we can see this is not a problem with this printf function because of these double quotes this indentation is not considered at all only this space is considered hence we can say that this method is preferred over this method okay friends this is it for now thank you for watching this presentation